Hello and welcome to my YouTube video on how to install Joomla on your Windows computer. This video was created to help people with limited computing experience to install Joomla on their own PC so that they can develop a simple website for themselves, a club or even a small business. So let's look at Joomla. You can find Joomla at www joomla.org. Before we get started, let's leave, briefly discuss what Joomla is. Joomla is a content management system. In very simple terms, a content management system is a system that allows you to manage the content of your website. So you can create, modify and remove content from a website without needing to be an expert in website development. There are other content management systems out there, such as Drupal or WordPress. But this video will be concentrating on Joomla. Why use Joomla? Joomla is designed to help you create your own website without any knowledge of complicated web languages such as HTML, PHP, JavaScript, and many others. Joomla does all this hard work for you through an intuitive, simple to understand control panel. This is one of the many reasons to use Joomla. Joomla is open source and therefore can be legally downloaded and used free of charge. Joomla is easy to install, set up, and use with a minimal amount of instructions you can easily manage your own site content. You can learn more about Joomla on the About section of this page, if you wish. There are many times we are so anxious to jump into creating something new that we forget to cover the basics. For web development, it's important, actually vital, to have the ability to test your projects locally before they could go live. We can do this by downloading some software to your computer. So let's open a browser and type in WAMP, W-A-M-P. Here it is, www.wampserver.com forward slash en. This is the English version, which is the version we require. Rather than being known as WAMP server, this software is more generally simply called WAMP. And WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP. If you have been following this video, but are actually using a different operating system, such as a Linux OS, you will need to install LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. Or if you're using a Mac system, you will need to install the MAMP, Mac, Apache, MySQL or PHP. But again, for the purpose of this video, I will be concentrating solely on a Windows operating system. Therefore, we'll be using WAMP. WAMP is a collection of web development tools and different software. It provides an environment for developing web pages and applications. It contains Apache Web Server, MySQL Database Management System, and PHP programming language. At this level, all you really need to know is that this software basically creates a mini server on your PC called localhost. So let's get started. Select download. There are a few different versions depending on whether you are using a 64-bit or 32-bit system. If you are unsure which system you're using, follow these simple steps. Select Start Computer System Properties and under System Type you will see which operating system you are using. In this case I have a 64-bit operating system and this is the version I will be downloading. So here I'll click on the first one. It's the same process 
even if you're using a 32-bit system. So don't worry, just follow the steps. When you come to this page, no need to worry about any of this. All you need to do is click on download it directly. The WAM server will start automatically downloading to your PC. Here, do you want to run save WAMP server 2.2? I choose run. This will take a few seconds, depending of, obviously on the speed of your on your laptop or computer. If you are asked permissions, select yes. You can close this page down now. Now here you have a setup wizard for your WAMP server. This will allow you to install WAMP server 2.2 on your computer. So click on next. Read the agreement if you wish to. Select I accept the agreement and next. There's a default location for your files in your C drive. C drive colon forward slash WAMP. You can leave it at this default setting. Click next. I would advise you in this circumstance to create a quick launch icon and a desktop icon. You can always change this afterwards if you wish. Click on next. Then click on install. This will take a few minutes depending again on the speed of your computer or your connection. And here is all the files downloaded in that location. So click open. Here is localhost. Do not worry about email. Click next. Then click launch app server to now. Click finish. Again, if you're asked to make any changes, go yes. And here at the bottom of our screen, we can see a new icon. So right click. Start all services. There you go here. You can click on localhost. Here, your web server is set up and running. While we're in here, we might just set up a new database. So I'll click on my, on PHP, my admin. Click on Databases, Create Database. For the purpose of this video, I will be creating a database called Joomla. Then click Create. And you can go back, back again. You're back on your web, web server homepage, and then you can either close it or minimize it, whichever you require. In this case, I'll minimize it. Now, we have web server downloaded, so the next thing to do is download Joomla. So, back on our Joomla.org page, go to Downloads. Now, as you can see, there's different versions. There's Joomla 2.5 full package or Joomla 3. Joomla 3 has been out nearly nine months now, so it's fully working and no need to worry about it. So I would click on the next full package, Joomla 3. Now, we click down here on the big blue Download Joomla 3.0 full package zip. Click on it. Now we're going to choose Save As. I'm going to choose Save As Desktop. Joomla 3.0. 
press it folder and click save. We can minimize this for a minute. As you can see there is our zip folder Joomla 3.0. Close down your download Joomla page. Now the next thing we need to do is go down here to the start button, click on start and in the search box type C colon backslash WAMP W A M P double click on this folder this opens up a new window go down here to www double click on it and on this window here we'll create a new folder folder for the purpose of this tutorial we'll call this new folder demo you can call it whatever you like as long as if you keep it in uppercase or lowercase you must remember and keep it the same next time you write it I'll click off no. we go over here to our Joomla 3.0 click on it extract all come here to browse click on browse go to computer local this C into WAMP back down to www click on that select demo and select OK so you have C colon backslash WAMP www backslash demo you're going to save all these files to this folder so extract This will take a few minutes to download. There it is, all downloaded. So we close this and we close this window. We go down here to our systems tray, click onto our WAMP icon, right click, localhost. This should open up our localhost. We click down here under your projects you should see a new folder called demo double click on demo this brings you to a new Joomla page and we need to fill in some information on this page before we get started the default language is English United States I prefer to save it as English United Kingdom your site name for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll call it Demo. Again, you can choose whichever name you feel best. Description, Demo Site. It's not necessarily to fill out this section, but it's just handy for yourself. And the email section, just fill in a made up address. I'll use admin at admin dot com admin username leave this as admin for a password please select a password that you will remember this is on your own machine so it doesn't need to be that hard to break go back select next on the next page database there's some elements already filled my sequel leave this localhost username choose something like root r o o t no need for a password here 
database name. If you remember from earlier, we already created a database called Joomla, lowercase. Joomla, click next. This brings us to the overview page. I feel it's best to install some sample data on your new website because without experience, if you go onto a new website and there's no data on it, it's very hard to find your way around. So click on test English sample data. Uh, email configuration, that's fine. That's fine. All default. Fine. Go to install. Now, congratulations, Juba is now installed. We only have one other job to do, and it's this remove installation folder. Click on here. Installation folder successfully removed. Now, we can go on to administrator. Here is admin. Our password is whatever you made it. And login. We are now in the back end of our, of our Joomla site. As you can see here, here is the page we created demo. So let's click on here. Here we are, demo. Now back to demo administration. So here we are, back in the administration section of our demo website. Before we finish, let's take a quick look back at what we have covered. We started off with Joomla. What is Joomla? Next, we went to web server and we downloaded the web server. We returned back to Joomla and downloaded the Joomla package we needed. And we came to here, Demo Administration. This is where our journey together has ended. But your journey to developing your own website is just starting. To help you on your way, I have included some useful links to Joomla tutorial videos in the description section on my YouTube page. I hope you found this video helpful and would very much appreciate receiving any comments you would like to make. Thank you and goodbye.